Hello and welcome to iTanet. Today's video is about Atimote School, Motown. Atimote School has educated many prominent Ghanaian and African leaders including Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, first president of Ghana, founding member and third chairman of Organization of African Unity, now African Union, Judosia Oku, designer of Ghana National Flag and many more. In today's video, we'll be looking at the former heads of state in Africa who attended Atimote School. Accra is the name given to an old student of Achimota. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. If this video gets 200 likes, there will be a video of top 50 popular personalities who completed Achimota school. If you want to know more about Achimota school, make sure you watch the video to the end because at the end of this video, we will talk about brief history of Achimota school in Ghana. The following are the former heads of state in Africa who attended Achimota school. Number one on our list today is Edward Ekufuado. Edward Ekufuado was a member of the Big Six, leaders of the United Good Goods Convention, UGCC, and one of the founding fathers of Ghana who engaged in the fight for Ghana's independence. He became the chief justice from 1966 to 1970 and later president from 1970 to 1972. He had his basic education at the Presbyterian Primary and Middle School at the Coupon. He continued to Presbyterian Training College, a coupon and a Betifi Theological Training College. In 1929, he entered Achimota School, where he won a scholarship to St. Peter's College, Oxford, where he studied mathematics, politics and philosophy. He was the father of the current President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Akufuad. Another product of Achimota School is the first head of state of Gambia, Sir Dauda Jawala. He was a Gambian politician who served as a Prime Minister from 1962 to 1970 and then as a first President of Gambia from 1970 to 1994. He was educated at the Methodist Boys School in Bathurst and then attended Achimota College in Ghana. He trained as a veterinary surgeon at the University of Glasgow School of Veterinary Medicine and then completed his training at the University of Liverpool. He decided to enter politics and became Secretary of the New People's Progressive Party PPP and was elected to the House of Representatives in the 1960 election. He became the leader of the PPP and the country's first prime minister in 1962. Under Jawara, the Gambia gained independence from the United Kingdom in 1965. The next Accra on the list is Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was the first prime minister and president of Ghana, having led the good coast to independence from Britain in 1957. He was an influential advocate of Pan-Africanism. Nkrumah was the founding member of the Organization of Africa Unity and winner of the Lenin Peace Prize from the Soviet Union in 1962. Nkrumah was Ghana's president and he was in office for five years, 240 days between July 1st, 1960 to February 24th, 1966. He attended government training college soon to become Achimota School and graduated in 1930. Before we move to the next on the list, if you want to know more about history of Ghanaian president and the school they attended, you can click on the link on top of this video or you can also check my video about Ghanaian president in the description of this video. The next on the list is Flight Lieutenant Jelly John Rawlings. Jelly John Rawlings was a Ghanaian military officer and a politician who led the country from 1981 to 2001. He led the military junta until 1992 and then served two terms as the democratically elected president of Ghana. He came to power in Ghana as a flight lieutenant of the Ghana Air Force following a coup d'etat in 1979. Prior to that, he led an unsuccessful coup attempt against the ruling military government on 15th May 1979, just five weeks before scheduled democratic elections were due to take place. After handing power over to the civilian government, he took back control of the country on 31st December 1981 as the chairman of the Provisional National Defense Council PNDC. In 1992, Rawlings resigned from the military, founded the National Democratic Congress NDC, and became the first president of the Fourth Republic. He was re-elected in 1996 for four more years 
and died in November 2020. The next Accra on the list is the second president of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe. Robert Mugabe was a Zimbabwean revolutionary and politician who served as a prime minister of Zimbabwe from 1980 to 1987 and then as president from 1987 to 2017. He served as the leader of Zimbabwe African National Union, ZENO, from 1975 to 1980 and led its successor political party, the ZENO Patriotic Front, from 1980 to 2017. The former president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, was a student of Achimote School. Professor John Evans Atames is the next Accra on the list. Professor John Evans Atames was a Ghanaian politician and legal scholar who served as a president of Ghana from 2009 until his death in July 2012. Atames was previously the vice president from 1997 to 2001 under the president Jelly John Rawlings and he contested unsuccessfully in 2000 and 2004 presidential election as the candidate of the National Democratic Congress, NDC. He had his primary and middle school education at the Winnie Valley Methodist Primary School and Commander Methodist Middle School, respectively. He proceeded to the prestigious Atmonte School for his secondary education, where he completed the Ordinary and Advanced Level Certificate in 1961 and 1963, respectively and the University of Ghana, Legon, where he completed a Bachelor of Law degree, LLB and Professional Law Certificate in 1997. That was six former heads of state in Africa who attended Achimote School. But these are not the only political leaders in Africa who attended Achimote School. Others include Alaji Adamuata, former governor of Kuala State in Nigeria, Dr. Kufi Ebrifebuzia, Prime Minister of Government in the Second Republic from 1969 to 1972. Konkensen Atta, First Vice President of Ghana in the Fourth Republic from 1993 to 1997, and many more. As I promised at the beginning of this video, that we will talk about brief history of the Achimote School. But before we do that, if you are still watching this video, thank you for watching the video. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Now let's look at the history of Achimota School. Achimota College was founded in Achimota, Gold Coast, now Ghana in 1924 by Dr. James Iman Kwejri Agri, Reverend Alexander Gardin Fraser and Sir Gordon Godgesbeck, the British Governor of the Gold Coast from 1919 to 1927 as an elect secondary school based on the British model of public education. Governor Godisberg urged local Gold of Gold Coast, now University of Ghana, the Achimota Teacher Training College and Achimota School. Achimota College still operates today as Achimota School under the oversight of Ghana Education Service, providing a senior high school education to young women and men. Thank you for watching this particular video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Thank you and bye for now. Yeah. 25 years ago, 300 young lives began a journey that will change their lives forever. Achimota was a school like no other. It was big.